Hello and welcome back to Adam. We did it. We convinced uh, the the distiller guys to pay for protection for Dan. <laughs> it's a bloody picture of himself. Oh, I don't know. I don't feel good about this, but I'm not strong enough to do anything good. And this is a very interesting thing in this game. I f just feel so vulnerable. I can do nothing but. I don't know, just convince some people. I just run away and convince people to help me and give me some money, I guess. This is not great. I need to get stronger. <clears throat> I really don't like the fact that a lot of the conversation options repeat. Because this game tries to be a hardcore RPG, but also... You shouldn't repeat the conversation options and the observations. Like, I saw that already. Uh, if there's a similar or same conversation option, it should give a different uh, result, I believe. Although, in the past, some games uh, did allow you to just uh, click on the same conversation option and you got the same thing, but I, I think that's a little bit immersion breaking. Oh, babe, what news do you bring me? I came to report. Um... <laughs> Sure. The Moonshiners will pay up. Uh, they agree to all the terms of the contract. I want to report there's a woman living in the factory, a woman's pretending to be a man. Hmm. Do I want to go for that? Maybe not. Just, let's just say that the Moonshiners will pay up. <laughs> Good for them. I fully understand and support the decision. Well, what's there to do? Some business proposals are too good to pass on. Or too dangerous, however. Uh, that largely depends on how you present them. Which means you as a messenger play a big role in this. Kudos. I'm happy to serve, Denis, uh, Denisovich. That's right. Okay, okay, you did the job, you did well. I can appreciate such resourcefulness in people. For starters, here's your cut. Like, what is my cut? Whoa, here's 700 rubles? It's very good money. <clears throat> that is Danny Savage. You know, this wasn't an easy assignment. I had to work my diplomatic magic. Maybe a little raise is in order. Hmm? How about that? Yep. Well, now. I know how you got them to cooperate. Good on you. You do? You do know how? Good on you for knowing how to smooth talk anybody into anything. Fine. This talent should be recognized. Here. Extra 50 rubles? Not a single kopeck more? Oh my god. 50? I guess I'll take that. I'm not sure if I will read all of this. Okay then. <clears throat> well. What's done is done, at least at the moment. Now I need something a little bit different from you. I think that you will be happy to hear that it's somewhat more straightforward than the previous task. As they say, even a dog can do it. I'm listening. But with something at least partially resembling a human, it should take that much less time. In a few words, you need to scout out a certain place that everybody in is talking about lately, but nobody has any useful information about it. I'm talking about the so-called Roaring Forest, also known as Rattling Forest or the Rumbling Forest, and it has a lot more of such names. Give me your map, I'll mark it for you, but it's all legwork after that. When you get there, look around, take a stroll in the neighborhood, talk to the locals, <clears throat> should there be any. Find out why the Roaring Forest roars, and that's it. Do you understand? I guess I do. Why are you interested in this Roaring Forest? If the rumors are true, there's a secret bunker or laboratory or an underground railway. I want to get that place under my total control. It's simple, really. Any idea why it's roaring? 
An underground railway, a secret bunker, community's party, mutants, magic, you name it. I'm inclined to believe that those are just the fluctuations of the Earth's surface, but I cannot be completely certain. Alright, I'll check it out, damn. So I leveled up. I have uh, points. Next teammate, uh, sure. So I can put in points. Skill points, each level you get two of those. So I can pick one skill. Not sure what I want. Skill books? I can get more XP, but maybe that's not what we want. But it seemed to go well with my high intelligence. So, more times I level up, also more more skill points I level up. Plus skills. Okay, let's just go, go with that. Let's just go with, like, stupid amounts of skill points. <clears throat> now I have 35. Uh, which is interesting. I'm not sure if we want to commit to anything here. The problem is, even if I go with melee weapons, I can't survive. So, even if I my chance to hit is good, maybe I can take out one guy, but then I die. Perhaps because of my health total is kind of low. It's not the best, and I don't think we can boost it. This weather is balls! Is that good or bad? I can't tell. So, uh, maybe we should go and check the Roaring Forest. Actually, we can talk to the woman. Can we talk to this guy? I got unexpected news for you about your new lad. What news? What are you talking about? Oh, it's a girl! The beaten man looks at you in a confusion, but finally your words hit him and he raises his eyebrows in surprise. Seriously? This is probably Sar Sasha's girlfriend then. Well, that's a great relief. I cannot believe I doubted myself so much. Listen, Deadshot. Shall we test you once again? Run your finger down the fighter's chest? Um... <laughs> but I'm... I'm a woman! How am I gonna... Prove to him that he's gay. Okay, we're gonna do it just for the... Why? I I, I think that conversation should should be uh, a thing for, for a male character. But let's do it. <clears throat> the bearded man moves your hand away politely, but confidently and joyfully looks you right in the eye. I guess we are uh, giving him an ego boost here. You naughty. Well, let's go test me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, it was just a quick test. I mean, it, it's over now. Being at you. Lead the way, Captain. Holy fuck. Well, maybe you can steal his... Fuck me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. This was a pretty spontaneous decision. Well, lead the way, Captain. Maybe you can lead him away and kill him. The man thinks for a moment and then snaps his fingers loudly as if he's remembered a very important detail. Uh, there's an abandoned service station not far from the factory. We could go there for testing. Follow me. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Who knows? What should we do? Will I be, uh, seducing a lot of dudes on this adventure? <laughs> I have to say, most of my female characters end up, uh, <clears throat> uh favoring the fa uh, fairer sex, but... Damn. Now we're chasing this dude. To bang in the abandoned, uh, station. At least, uh, that's, uh, what he is, uh, what he hopes. From this, uh, adventure. So, let's see. Holy fuck, he's... he's already. Let's 
What's up? Condom? Have a conversation about sex education of the vase of the basement dwellers. Okay. So I can do it with a condom. I can take his stuff. I can shoot him in the head. What what if I shoot him in the head? I would need to have a higher uh scale for that. I can't shoot him in the eyes. That's usually the the best thing to do. I don't know. Maybe we should. I think we need to make her uh, a range fighter for one simple reason. It's because there's no chance. There's zero chance uh, we can. We can fight in melee range and survive. So what if I make some huge commitment here and see what can we do? So this allows me to almost always shoot him in the eyes from close range. Okay, let's try it. Slightly injured. Oh boy, I took a lot of damage. Oh, that's not good. He's almost dead. I'm dead, wow, really? Come on game, I'm gonna be a psychopath, killing people. Okay, so... Holy fuck, really? I want his gun! Like seriously, what is that? I think it's maybe a good idea to, even if we have his gun, just to have access to... Just to be able to use a lot of firearms. Wow, look at that! Look at that gun! That's just insane! Even if I had more HP, like, <coughs> there's no way! That, that almost ki- <clears throat> Yeah, 32 damage. Slightly injured only. Yeah, there's, there's no way. The, the first try was the best. I usually don't do this. Okay, this is the last try. I'm, I'm just curious. I actually wanna see if uh, we kill him. Do we see all his stuff? Look at that! He's to death! He's to death! Holy crap! So, what? Well, well, we just gotta bang him. That's how it works. Uh, we gotta do it with a condom. <laughs> That's how... Fuck me. Well, there's not much else we can do. What? I wanna see. Oh, wow. <gasps> Maybe you can see. Who turned on the music? Can I run out while I'm having sex? I don't see guys! Let me in! This is bullshit. I must have finished by now. You like that? Oh my! I, I don't know who's who, but... <laughs> Come on! <laughs> wow! How long is this gonna last? We lost the condom. Whoa, that was. Whoa! I know. Wait, I, I got XP for banging a guy? Oh my god. Really? Nice. Getting some experience. Great. And now he's gone. What? I'm radiated, encumbered, and hungry? What the fuck? Is it because I banged the dude? Oh man. 
More toxin. Ooh. Okay, maybe. Encumbered, but how? Oh, because I lost strength, right? Because of the radiation. Fuck. Wait, I lost two strength? Oh, I'm hungry. I lost one because of that. And I'm exhausted. Okay. Sexy times made me exhausted for half an hour. And yeah, but we just need to get, fix our hunger. I just let just leave. There's not much we can do here. And we're gonna We can just put up a campfire. Can we can we leave while encumbered? What I'm hoping for is that we will be we will I, I could have chosen a, a distinction that allowed me to use guns a lot better. Maybe that would have been a good good one. I don't think it's gonna matter in the long run that much, but that would have helped. So I think that's what we gotta go with, because we just cannot face tank these people. And also having more action points would be pretty fucking good. But I don't have access to that. Aim shots do matter a lot. So we're definitely gonna be using that. Okay, uh, let's just do a camp. Explosion! Warm up some camp food. Uh, Coke. I'm only radiated now. Oh, that's nice. Hunger went down a lot. But I'm still radiated. Can roast meat. I'm not sure how to get rid of ra radiation, other than that um, drug I took. But I think for now it should be okay. Now, do I want to go to the forest? Or do I want to look for a trader? Stop. Ooh, that's so far away. I was pretty brief in the the filling station. I don't know if I wanna go and talk to a lot of people here. I have the feeling that uh, we might be able to find a companion in Krasno, or at least at least at least the hope that I will be able to find a companion. And I wanna explore. Uh, the conversation options, but also if they're just like not satisfying to explore, I'm I'm conflicted. I have to say. Oh, give me the stuff. It's locked. Oh, what a cool guy. Huh. Uh, hey, you. Yeah, you. You want something to buy? Yeah. Show me the good stuff. Uh, this is the good stuff. I can buy rounds. Rubles. So, do I want to craft anything, or do I just not care? Uh, crafting. I don't want that. Don't want that. Why do I? Why would I want a bag? I don't want a pipe rifle. I just realized that I don't want any of these, so I kind of want to sell it. So, <clears throat> here we go. Oh, actually, oh, I used up all my thingies. Piece of tire. Can we just sell the trash? Oh, this is everything. This is... Like, this is where I'm conflicted, like... Oh, yeah. It always lists everything, right? Which is not good. I think that's... That's not trash. So, that's food. I can see like bottle, uh, med kit and a fish. This is ammo, weapons, armor, and this is, I assuming rest, or uh, this is the 
I don't know what this is. Don't know. But this, this seems to uh, start with the trash. So I can start selling some, uh, well, all the trash. We're not gonna sell that. Waste paper. Herbal mix. I'm not sure if that matters. Okay, we won the bullets. We always won bullets. We probably always won money because we can always just use the money later. And what else we could want? Not that. Gunpowder, tea, canned meat, meh. I think this should be fine. Yeah, this is a good trade. Also, we are getting rid of a, a lot of white here. Okay, close. Thanks for that. Bye-bye. Uh, so, it's not great, but we do have a pistol with, uh, how much, how many bullets? Well, like 90 bullets. Okay, we gotta ignore the gas station. And uh, walk toward Krasno. Well, what happened? Apparently nothing. Oh yeah, we gotta meet the caravan, guys. If it's like a one-on-one, -on -one, maybe. No, it's not a one-on-one. -on -one. There's no way we can rob this guy. Okay. Where are you going? Maybe you could help a lonely hitchhiker? You're a nosy one, aren't you? Our journey has taken us to o Otradnoye. If you if you want, we probably can get you there, but only for 20 rubles. What if you are some bandit? That way, if you will rob us, it wouldn't be <laughs> as embarrassing for us. I don't want to go to Otradnoye. Now nah, I'm going the other way. Just show me what you got. <gasps> TT pistol? That's a 30 caliber. Uh, there is one advantage to it, that it seemed to be more efficient. Okay. Recommended 5 strength. So, if I shoot the TT pistol... Okay, well, let's just close it. So, currently, I'm using a rusty Nagant that uses a 30 cal. Uh, 3 to 7, so 5 average. And this guy is selling a TT. A TT uh, actually deals 10.10.5 average damage, but it's a more efficient use of the 30 cal. One uh, disadvantage though, that... Well, it's not really a disadvantage here. Because we would be dealing better damage but we can't shoot it twice, but we're still, well, we're basically dealing same damage, it's more ammo efficient. Old gas mask. Lowers the attention. So, can I buy Kuiras? Uh, that's interesting. I suppose if you have a, a low dodge, uh, then you might want to use the Kuiras. Actually, we can afford the Dexterity loss because we would lose an action point. That's no good. <laughs> but we might want to pick up the TT pistol. Humpback. Geiger counter. I would love to have that as well. Rubus. This guy no has stuff. Okay. I just sell him everything that just has no value to us. At least, apparently. Oh, we're gonna keep that. Coffee, empty tin, tea, photo, toilet paper, 
Where has value? I'm selling it all. Thief passport. I don't think we need that anymore. Pre-war vodka. Oh, it lowers radiation. Oh, that's good. So we should be on the lookout for this lowers toxin. This adds toxin. I'm not sure if we should keep it. Also, it's kind of heavy. Bottle with water. Biscuit. Uh, yeah, we're keeping any food. I don't want the toadstool. I'm not sure if it has any crafting uh, perks, crafting uh, uses. I think I have two knives. Don't I? Personal diary of Ivan Lenin. Don't care. So, that's some amount of rubles. We also need... Uh, the rounds. 9 mil. Uh, it would be best if we actually had a, a weapon for 9 mil rounds, because I don't have that. That, that seems like a good trade. Obviously, I need to add my... Actually, the old hunting rifle is total trash. Because we spend... How much? It has average 9 damage. It's kind of kind of bad. Average 9 damage for 6 AP. Jamming chance, accuracy penalty. It seems pretty bad. It, it doesn't seem to even have a jamming chance. So, old hunting rifle gets sold. I'm not sure if you have another knife. But, for now, let's just pay money. 392. And trade. I'm gonna close it. And remove... Yeah, we have an extra knife. We gotta put in the TT pistol. Fucking upgrade! Holy crap! Finally! Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff now. Uh, biscuit. Uh, this is nice that I, I actually know about pre-war vodka now. Uh, that it removes radiation. Uh, that's gonna come in handy. So we're gonna be on the lookout for that. Pre-war cognac. It, uh, it is just a buff. Hmm. Okay, I kind of littered his inventory now with all kinds of crap. So he can have those. I don't need that anymore. Uh, I would like money, obviously. I don't think we need anything else. Uh, way to remove toxins seems like a good thing to do. I don't we have enough carry weight now. So just give me money, okay? Can we just go with guns? Um, bullets? I don't know if I want to take his 9 mil. I think we're going to take it. I think in the long run, it's going to come in handy. And we're just going to take some rubles here. Rupees. And this seems like a very good trade. We can take his Kuiras. I'm not sure even... I don't think I would use that if I, if I had it. But this is a really good trade. This is not gonna increase our efficiency. That it will a little bit increase our efficiency. Because this thing is short range. This thing is medium range. This, well, increases our efficiency. Like, we're gonna use uh, the ammo more efficiently. So this is pretty important. Uh, what I meant to say is that it's not gonna make us significantly stronger. What I will be able to do is shoot and move like two action points. Use two action points to move around. Still, uh, we're just gonna trade. Finally, something's going on! I was waiting for this so freaking long. Please, game. I just wanna make some progress. Maybe shoot some guys in the face. I kinda wanna... Yeah, yeah, we have 9 mil. Yeah, we have a lot of types of ammo. Ah, uh, thanks, mister. I'm just passing through. So, we have aim shots here. Really good. I'm not sure how good that is, but, like, I, I look a force to be reckoned with. 
So if I up my uh, pistol skill by 14% more, yeah, 14% more, uh, then we would have accurate shots in the eye. Uh, that is uh, not healthy, but yeah, we need that. Anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. Let's continue our journey. Hopefully we're gonna meet some... Wait, it looked like uh, that was a dude. Never mind that. Obviously no dudes on the on the world map. Yeah, let's meet and trade. But this is like a proper caravan again. But I suppose I'm just gonna buy their ammo all the time. Yeah, I'm talking to the merchant guy. Is it the same guy? What the fuck is he selling? Oh, that's just a... Uh, yeah, that's not as good. Speechcraft, survival... This is not as good. Can I list? Oh, this is components, right? Components... Trash... Armor or... Stuff I can use... Uh, this is... Uh, food... Oh fuck, we needed the diesel for the car, right? Well... Prevar vodka... Uh, we might want that. Ammo... He doesn't have ammo, and he does have a gun, a nagant, but that sucks. So, we're just gonna buy the vodka. And just call today. Because I think I'm just gonna need... I need that. Well, I'm drunk, but not as radiated anymore. <laughs> Comrade, we're getting drunk. This is this is the Russian way. Of course, of course. Uh, vodka is the way to... Uh, as your only saving grace. In the post-apocalyptic uh, wasteland. Christ, no, I'm coming. I heard about this place for so long. Oh. I actually didn't pay attention to that. Maybe I should have. More caravaneers. Uh, one thing we gotta do is I really should have done that. Is uh, pay attention to the time of day, so we're probably gonna have more luck. Ooh, look at that! If we buy that Makarov, it has 17 average damage. No, no not 17. I mean, uh, eight and a half. And uses a different type of ammo. It's short ranged, which is not great. But it's definitely better than nothing, and we would be able to use... So damage threshold on the head with the rusty helmet. I really want to buy some bullets. 545. Uh, He's selling a lot of 40 cal. I have to buy that. Only question is... I can buy the 550... Okay, let's just put it back for now. Let's just see the uh, the value we are getting here. So for 45 bullets, we have to pay uh, 268, which is a uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. What about here? This is actually a lot cheaper. So for this, we are paying like uh, 3.6 rubles. Per bullet. For this, uh, we're paying uh, f at least five, almost six. So 270 would be six. So we are basically paying six rubles per bullet. Six rupees per bullet. Here we are paying uh, 3.6 rupees per bullet. And here we are paying 6 rupees per bullet again. So we want to buy that. And we want to buy the 9 mil. And we want to buy the Makarov. 
I know. I'm I'm the worst. <laughs> I literally want everything. But this could allow us to use ranged combat as a viable option. And they they are the same type. Uh they are pistols. In order to fire the Makarov twice, I would need to well, this is like a plan B here. The thing is, do I wanna go with a plan B? Do I wanna secure myself a plan B? I don't know. I'm not sure how many... How much uh, shooting I will be doing, but I think... I just, I just can't mess up this opportunity. I still have some money. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna keep the, the rope. Empty bottle, you can have that. Water. I think we gotta take it. We gotta take it just to be on the safe side. Canteen, whatever. Yeah, we're taking it. So we're gonna have pistol. Maybe we can actually just switch to the pistol. Okay. We're just giving away the money. Not really, bye. So... We knew, now have a Makarov pistol as well. And the thing is with the knife, is the knife does average uh, 5 damage. But close range, also we can aim shot, so it's pretty good. But this one does uh, average uh, 8.5. And this one does uh, average 10.5. Of course, uh, this one uh, costs one less action point to shoot. So, they're both good weapons. If I had 10 action points, the Makarov would be just insane. But I don't. So, yeah. But, we should be able to use pistols and range combat reliably now. On our way to Krasno! Right to uh, take out some suckers. But, we would need to level up once more. Once more to really solidify uh, range combat as, as our primary go-to. Because currently it's, it's good. We can, we can do fine. Like 72, that, that's, that's really, really good. And the reason I went for high intelligence is that to have that versatility, that I can just make my character whatever I need it to be. And I... Oh, oh actually we need to be careful. So the time of day is actually pretty damn bad, right? It's... Isn't it? Isn't it night? Can I... Can I rest? Okay. I need to find the thingy to rest. Okay, I can rest for... Yeah, it's 1 a.m. What I expected. We can rest. We don't have the option to rest till morning. We can rest for six hours. Okay, I need to make a camp before I rest. Whatever. Now we rest for six hours. Then maybe like, oh crap, we got attacked by Mr. Rat. Run away! Do I care? I just want to run away. They don't have anything. I don't want to take any damage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we just got super, super, uh, super confident now. That, that was just a fluke, that we had to run away. I think, I don't think we had to run away. Uh, let's just rest for six hours. Come on, I need to eat? Uh, let's roll some meat. Let's cook it. And done and done, right? Oh my god, we are we are full. And let's rest for six hours. Like I wanted. Okay, we're good. Let's just go. Krasno, here I come. Should I just run around with my pistol out? I think this uh Yeah. Oh we can see on the map. Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the time we want to enter Krasno. I wonder how big this is, because 
it's kind of sold to me as like the the town to check out. Game? <laughs> oh, I saw the loading guy come for a second. Like, are you gonna crash? Uh, apparently not. Mm, it's it seems bigger than the first uh, town. What do you say about this, uh, soldier boys? Um, I don't want to read that. Whoa, f I fucked up. Are you blind? Do you need any an eye exam? This is the city power plant, an object of great strategic importance. Vital, like food and water. Uh, this, this seems important. What is this place? Can you tell me about it? Ah, uh, same thing. Have you heard any gossip? I don't have any folklore, but I had a lead. Some people from out of town speak about a noble serial killer that has appeared in the north. His name is Hybris. Or hubris, or something like that. He killed a popular singer who became too full of himself, and just some pushy politician, and then a monster. A mobster. What the hell? He should he should have killed the monster. Who has lost all shame? People say be more humble, and hybris won't touch you. Damn it! I even had a change of heart about asking for a promotion after hearing this story. <laughs> I think you're fine. Hubris is a term signifying overconfidence and arrogance. The story you heard is a metaphor. <laughs> the man seems to be frightened by your words. Listen, I'll be the first one to agree that the story was a bit unsettling, but don't you start mentioning some demon names here, like this metaphor and whatnot. Why are you so angry? You're standing there, looking ready to jump me. Listen, girl. I'm guarding an important government object, all alone. There is no real checkpoint here, no security guards. And the only thing I have to scare off the tourists and the hobos are my rude words. <laughs> what about the gun? Understood, well, I won't bother you anymore. This guy is super busy. Trying to guard this nothing. Wait, can I just sneak in? I don't know. Maybe we should... Wait. Wait, 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 I thought Krasno was bigger than this. But I think before we explore Krasno fully, we should take a break. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.